We all have heard today's Murli, isn't it? So Baba very clearly says in the Murli, the cause of imbalance in life, right? What are the causes of imbalance in life? Attachment, right? Second is tension, stress or tension. Third is weak nature, right? Nature of feeling, you know, emotional nature, right? Feeling. And what is the treatment? 
see my profession is doctor right so i'll talk about treatment right okay so what is the treatment treatment is balance 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 of remembrance and service balance of mind and body right yes balance of entertaining and serious balance of balance of professional life and spiritual life right isn't it well, that's very important balance of your homely life and spiritual life right yes and what else then if you have balance only then you will have blessings right and then only you will have blissful life isn't it and what is the methodology what is the method of having balance blessings and blissful life yeah but baba in baba's words you know just talk about baba's word reality right royalty and unity isn't it right so we'll discuss step by step right how to go about balancing or learning the art of balance right so if we have balance only then we'll have blessings and then only we'll have blissful life right and all of us want blissful life isn't it the aim of brahman life is to have blissful life isn't it or to have sorrow life full of sorrow which we have already had right so from life of sorrow now we want to have life full of bliss and not intermittent bliss intermittent bliss or continuous bliss you know you can have bliss intermittently and in between you can have patches of sorrow right so is that fine no so we want to have continuous bliss right so we need to have a continuous balance right so we go systematically into art of balance right so the first balance is if we want to have balance then the first balance which we should have is balance between mind and body right so we what is mind can you tell me what is mind anybody what is mind where it is located in the body here in the soul here in the soul totally in the soul no brain brain what is the difference between brain and mind mind is a quality of brain of the soul or brain right can you can you locate the brain in the uh, mind in the body it can be located in the in the body where it is like we can locate the soul can we locate the mind in the body no it's ability of the soul but where it is located in the soul itself only in the soul but where the soul is located there is mind i'll we'll go in detail detail about this now there are actually basically see we all know that soul has got three faculties right mind body and intellect okay now intellect is just you know just so what, what is basically you know soul is what is soul soul is a point of light right and energy what energies soul has soul has got seven energies right how the soul runs this body physical body do you know how the soul runs this physical body if the soul is here this body is working i am speaking if i leave from this body then can i speak no. can this body speak no but how it how it makes this mouth speak <coughs> through brain is it okay uh, so i'll go into detail of the detail of this because we should we need to have a basic knowledge of before we balance we should know 
the two things to which, which are to be balanced and what is the nature of these two things right. So, you know soul has got seven innate energies which we all know they are knowledge, first is knowledge, what is knowledge? Knowledge is A, B, C, D right, what is knowledge? Knowledge is not too big actually knowledge there is ocean of knowledge, Baba is an ocean of knowledge, but in brief it is A, B, C, D right, A is Atma, Atma B is Baba, Baba C is Cycle right and D is drama right. So, knowledge of A, B, C, D right. Then when we have the knowledge of A, B, C, D then our mind becomes second is second energy is purity right. Third energy is peace, fourth energy is love, fifth energy is happiness, sixth energy is bliss and seventh energy is powers. But all these energies Am I fast? Okay. 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 Sorry. Okay. So these seven energies are there, right? Now, but all these seven energies are interrelated. When you have this knowledge of seven energies, A, B, C, D, that I am a soul son of the supreme soul, we all are souls, sons of the same father, we have a special, we have a special role to play, each one of us have a special role to play in this world drama, everybody is unique, no two souls are similar and we were deities, we are again going to become deities, right, all of us, right. Then our mind becomes pure then we become pure right, then it, 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 this knowledge increases the purity of mind and relationships, is not it? If we have this knowledge, if we do not have this knowledge, I think that I am Dr. So and so, you are so and so, why you had told me yesterday something wrong, right, why you behave with me, with me in this manner, then we cannot have purity of mind, Do can we have? So, purity of mind and purity of relationship, they automatically come in and even purity of food comes in, right. When you have purity of mind, food and relationships, then automatically peace comes in, we become peaceful. If we are getting impure thoughts in the mind, we have impure relationship, we take impure food, we cannot have peace. When the peace is there, then automatically love comes in. When you have peace, when you have love, then automatically happiness comes in, is not it? Can you have happiness without love? Not possible you are fighting and then can you have happiness? You can't. So, love leads to happiness, happiness leads to bliss, right. Now, how to have powers? There are eight powers, right. When you have knowledge of A, B, C, D and purity of mind and relationships, then you have power to discriminate, right. Actually, you have eight powers, but they are in pairs. Can anybody tell all the eight powers fast? In sequence, you know there is a sequence for powers, right? You want this on? You, you want this on, this air? I think this is not required. See there these powers are in pairs, right, power to discriminate and power to judge, they are married to each other, right, you know they are, they are you know couples, you know this, they are couples, right. If you do not have power to discriminate, you cannot have power to judge, right, is not it? 
there you know Lakshmi Narayan right isn't it okay power to withdraw and power to pack up they are married together right if you, can, if you cannot withdraw you cannot have power to pack up right and power to tolerate and power to face they are married to each other right power to accommodate and power to cooperate right so these are in this way they are married to each other right now first four powers first power is power to discriminate and power to judge these first four powers they are they come in our in the soul or whatever you call it because of knowledge of abcd and purity of mind and relationships and food right when you have knowledge and purity then automatically you have power to discriminate between right and wrong and you can judge right very fast within a second if you do not have knowledge you do not have purity you cannot discriminate and you cannot judge okay and also when you have power of not when you have knowledge and purity you can withdraw you can pack up right just keep on thinking also right churning also right okay because i have churned these things right and then telling you right practical aspects of these energies aspects of these energies right and then second two, two like the second uh, sec, uh, the third and fourth energies energy of peace and energy of love when you have these two energies like a mother when she has love for the child she she does everything for the child right she tolerates she she faces everything she for the child and she you know uh, accommodates him him or her you know any time and every time right and she cooperates all the time so when you have peace and love then only you can have power to tolerate only then you can have power to face power to accommodate power to cooperate right so because of first four energies you get all the eight powers and when you practice these powers in day to day life rather in each second of your life each breath of your life each action each speech of your life then only we can enjoy happiness and bliss otherwise not right this is how all these seven energies are they increase each other right okay now what is so these energies are coming out of the soul soul is a point of light it's a bundle of energy right all these seven energies are coming out from the soul and what is intellect intellect is nothing but power to discriminate power to judge isn't it power to withdraw power to pick up no power to tolerate power to face power to accommodate and power to cooperate this you do with intellect isn't it so basically this is sort of a halo around the soul right point of light and then is the mind mind has got four what is mind mind is abstract right okay mind is abstract and it there is a internal mind and there is a external aspect of mind the mind which is there concentrated in the soul and a mind which is has gone all over the body you see you know this this thing is in my mind you know this thing is in my mind my leg is in my great great thumb great toe is in my mind isn't it i have got this great toe isn't it i have got a leg right this is in my mind isn't it no so mind the soul extends this energy of the mind to the whole body mind is the medium through which soul sends its energy or soul nourishes the various cells soul is nourishing all these cells of the body if soul is not there this body is not functioning soul the body functions when only soul is there right otherwise everything is there brain is there all the centers are there heart is there lung is there nothing functions right 
So, and mind is the medium through which this energy goes to various cells or organs of the body. What is mind? Mind is nothing but team. What is mind? Mind has got four aspects or four dimensions you can say. Team, T is for thoughts, E for emotions, A for attitudes and M for memories. Okay. Is that clear? What is team? What is mind? Mind is team and team means T for thoughts, E for emotions, A for attitudes and M for memories. Now, the soul is nourishing the heart with which energy? Actually soul nourishes all the cells of the body with all the seven energies. But one energy is very specific to that organ. Like for the brain, which energy is most important? I will just explain another way. You want to prepare a cup of tea, right? You have, you require four things, four things, right? You require water, you require sugar, you require tea leaves and you require milk, right? Now without what? You cannot prepare a cup of tea without tea leaves. Without, you see, one, one thing I am asking, right? If you have water, you have milk, you have sugar, can you prepare tea? You cannot. So, if you have everything but you don't have tea leaves, you cannot prepare tea, right? Similarly, for the brain, which energy is the most important? Without which it is not the brain? Knowledge, yeah, you are right. Knowledge is the energy without this which the brain cannot function. More of, more of this knowledge A, B, C, D you have more intellectual you are. I am a soul, you are a soul, we are sons of the same father, we, 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 are, in a, we are in a cycle and everybody is playing his, his or her own part in the drama, right? So more intellectual you are, right? You do not speak, like said, scientist will not speak that I am a soul, but it is there in the, merged in the consciousness and one behaves accordingly. Like the top scientists of the world, they will never think that I am, I am a Christian, I am a Hindu, I am a Sikh, I am a Muslim. They are above, him, above these religions. They are above caste, they are above country. They always think of the humanity as a whole. They always think about, about the whole universe and then create, right? So a person who has got more of this knowledge, he will create, he will have more IQ. Right? And people these days talk about not only IQ but also talk about emotional intelligence, EQ. Right? They will have more EQ, they will have more emotional balance, right? They will have more SQ. You know what is SQ? SQ is spiritual intelligence, right? Okay. So they are more creative. Okay. Then you have these five senses. These five senses, eyes, nose, tongue, ears and the whole skin of the body. Skin not only outside but also inside, inside the mouth, inside, inside the lungs, inside the intestine, inside the arteries, blood vessels, right. This is supplied by, this is, the soul nourishes the, the five senses with purity, purity. Second is purity, right. So this purity is reflected by your eyes. What you speak reflects your inside mental state, isn't it? What you like to hear reflects your mental state, isn't it? What you like to smell <laughs> reflects your mental state, right? Your skin reflects your purity, right? Isn't it? And similarly, immune system is also nourished by purity, right? Lungs are being nourished by peace. More peaceful you are, you will have deeper breathing. Right? S slow breathing, more exchange of oxygen, right? Isn't it? 
Peaceless, you more peaceless you are, you will have fast breathing. You know, you have shallow breathing, right? Okay, shallow. Lung oxygen doesn't go into the lungs, it just comes and out, it comes and goes out. See, you are given, we all are given breaths and not ears to live. We are given breaths, not ears to live, right? Like say, normally we breathe 12 times in a minute, okay? But if you see the old literature, 200 years back, it's written in the literature that usual breathing was 6 to 7 per minute, okay? And now it is 12 per minute, right? And now suppose I have 5 years to live with the rate of 12 per minute, right? Now it is up to me, if I get angry, I become peaceless, I have anxiety, I have hurry sickness, I have fear, I have got insecurity, what will happen to me? I will have, I will breathe faster, right? I'll, instead of 12, I will breathe 16, 18 per minute, right? What will happen? Instead of five years, I will finish these breaths in three and a half years, right? Okay? So I leave this body after three and a half years, right? Fine? Now, instead of that, I remain soul conscious, I am peaceful, loveful, happy, contented. I will breathe only six times per minute, right? Eight times per minute. So I live for ten years, right? Isn't it? So this is how you increase your age by yoga. Is that clear? This is the way you increase your age, right? Because more, more yoga, more Raj Yoga you will have, more peaceful you will be, right? Less the breath rate, right? Increase the age. So this is about the peace, then the love. Soul nourishes the heart with love. love. More love you have, beautiful contractions, right? Right? Less love you have, heart does like this, tuck, 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 you know? You have the palpitations, right? Heart beats 70 times per minute. And if, if, the, if you have anger, it beats like, you know, and 20, right? Fear, tuck, 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 you know, fast. Then heart nourishes your intestines, stomach, liver and intestines with happiness, isn't it? More happy you are, better digestion, less acid, right? Okay, adequate, adequate acid, adequate enzymes to digest your food, adequate liver function. You are not happy, sorrow, whatever you take remains there only, right? It's not digested properly. You don't have juices to digest the food, right? You will have more acidity, right? Then, soul nourishes the endocrine glands, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal gland, the hormones with bliss. And from the pituitary gland, you have the growth hormone coming growth stimulating hormone and growth inhibitory hormone, two hormones are coming from here. Actually, there are 14, 15 hormones coming from here. Pituitary gland is the master gland of the body, just below the soul, right? What is the location of the soul? Between hypothalamus and pituitary gland, there. So, when you are young, when we are young, 14, 15 years, we are blissful, more blissful. So we have more growth hormone being produced, so we have more growth, more, more cells being produced, right? And less death going on. So we look exuberant, we look shiny. When we get 20 years, 22 years, we start going into vices, right? Bliss is decreasing. It doesn't, it doesn't decrease in a day, it decreases slowly, slowly. The battery is getting discharged, right? So growth hormone, less, less growth of cells, more degeneration, more death, balance, right? 
our face becomes stable, right? Our body becomes stable, right? As we go into 30s, 40s, we become more wiseful, right? Not wiseless, we become more wiseful, right? Lust, anger, everything comes in. Greed, attachment, we have children. We have more responsibilities. So we become more corrupt, right? And more. So bliss further goes down. Less hormones, less growth of cells, more degeneration, right? So we become older, faster, right? More death less growth. So become our skin becomes old, the whole body becomes old, right? In golden age, we don't grow old. Why? Because we are always blissful. Isn't it? There we don't call, you know, 100 year old person that he is old. You know? There we get married at the age of 60 years, right? For 60 years we are, we are children, right? Isn't it? Right? So our childhood extends to 60 years. Here childhood is only 5 years, right? After 5 years you have responsibilities, you have got a big bag, you know, to carry, lot of books. Isn't it? There you don't have anything. So, and then soul nourishes the various joints, muscles, bones with powers. And all the seven energies, they combine to, rele to release all the toxins from all the cells of the body. Through kidneys, through stool and through sweat, right? So all the toxins are, this is how the soul is working. But the medium is mind. All these energies pass through to the cells through thoughts, through emotions, through attitudes and through memories. If you have negative team, negative thoughts, negative energies, and negative emotions, attitudes and memories, this energy will not pass to the body. And we have, see, suppose there is a blockage in the, your food pipe, you are taking the food, food is not, not reaching the stomach, what will happen? There will be dis-ease in the stomach. See, you are eating the food but it is not reaching there. So what will happen? You are hungry. Food is not reaching here. There is acid. So it will burn the, not the food, but your stomach, isn't it? So will be, this, there will be this ease here, loss of ease here, right? You will get abdominal pain. So the word is loss of ease. And in English, we will call it dis-ease, right? The word is dis-ease, right? So dis-ease, you know, it, now it is a fast word. So we call it disease, right? The real word is dis-ease, right? Same thing happens. When the energy is going, energy, suppose love, soul nourishes the heart with love and there is energy block in my mind. I have got thoughts, negative thoughts about love. I have negative emotions about love. I have negative attitude toward love. I have negative memories of love. Then if somebody tells me about love, about spiritual love, you know, about godly love or about, or somebody talks with love with me, you know, I'll always suspect this fellow is fooling me, you know, isn't it? Because I had negative memories of love. So that energy which should, which should have come here and nourished my heart gets blocked. And my heart get, my heart doesn't get love. So it becomes, it, it comes at dis-ease, right? This is starts in the heart, isn't it? Are you getting the, you are learning art of balance, right? So this is how it happens. When you have negative team, see this, this is the brain, two hemispheres, right hemisphere and left hemisphere. Just below the hemisphere, here, this is the hypothalamus. And below the hypothalamus, there is a pituitary gland here. And hypothalamus is just like watchdog. You know, watchdog, you have a watchdog in the house. If somebody coming, known to you, he will not bark, right? But somebody coming who is not known or not a, not a wanted person, 
he will start barking right so anything which is coming in the brain which is positive it will not work it will not bark right hypothalamus there will not be reaction in the hypothalamus but as something comes negative in the right side or left side it will start barking you know? hypothalamus there is a reaction in the hypothalamus that's why it is called as watch dog right and this hypothalamus whenever you have a negative team negative thoughts negative emotions negative attitudes negative memories this hypothalamus starts making certain proteins which are called neuropeptides and our body is made up of cells as a house is made up of bricks we have got 80 to 100 trillion cells in the body and these chemicals will go to each cell of the body in about 30 seconds to the whole body each cell and the message will reach to the cells and there will be production of stress hormones hormones which produce stress in the body sympathetic dominance there are two system in the body one system is of system of alertness it makes you alert likes just imagine midnight you have a watchdog and it starts barking what will happen what will happen immediately you will wake up you know there's something something is somebody is there you know outside me some some thief is trying to enter right so you will what you do you will just become alert and hold a stick right or you something some whatever you have you have a pistol or whatever stick or whatever and you will wait right you will become alert to fight and if you are if you are, if you are a brave person you will be ready to fight if you are a coward person flight you know you will just try to you know just run off the house from other other door so this is the same thing happens in the body also you have stress hormones and sympathetic system becomes active and there is a fight or flight response and that leads to feeling of dis ease right can you sleep in your house with do do dog barking your dog barking no it will cause dis ease in the mind also in the body this will feeling of sadness feeling of lack of energy right you feel there is no energy like some people you know you will not say you know in, in india we call thief as chore you know chore in hindi of thief is chore right so if they will not even able to come out you know they will not be able to speak out chore right they will say so 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 you know it is that because of fear you know when you are when you suddenly get up and you know that there some some people are around they want to attack you you don't speak out you are not able to words in words do not come out you will not be able to speak out you know thief you know you will say something like i don't know what you will say right so this is what happens right on the other hand if you have positive team positive thoughts positive emotions and positive attitudes and positive memories what happens hypothalamus does not react you have got cells in the body and brain these cells of the brain and the body they will release certain chemicals which are called endorphins endorphins are morphine like substances you know morphine yeah. any type of pain heart pain or any type of pain in the body muscle pain bone pain you take injection of morphine pain disappears and you start feeling having feeling of happiness powerful right and if you take little extra morphine you feel like flying right right same thing happens in the body when you think positive positive attitude positive memories these endorphins come out and your parasympathetic system becomes active relaxing system so we have got a heating system we have got a air conditioning system parasympathetic system air conditioning system so this our body becomes air conditioned right and these chemicals come out and there is a feeling of well being there is a feeling of happiness there is a feeling of health there is a pulling of energy you feel energetic right see i'll just give you one example you know a patient comes to me if a patient goes to a doctor he just goes walking to the doctor 
he just says, oh doctor, you know, I am just feeling little, little heaviness in my chest. Doctor after examination says, oh, how come you are alive? You are, your heart is so diseased, your all the three arteries are blocked. How you are walking? You should not walk. So what happens to the patient? He came walking, he came walking, right? Now how, how he feels? There itself he feels like? No, he feels like collapsing, you know. Oh, I have my, all the three arteries are blocked, my days are numbered. You know? And then he says, oh, I can't walk, you know. You know, after the doctor tells him, you have this problem, then he says, oh, I can't walk. I am, I am feeling very weak, you know. I am feeling very weak, you know, my legs are not, I am not able to get up. Please give me wheelchair, you know? I will go by wheelchair. Isn't it? Or you see, same thing, as, many times this thing happens, you know. You go to the doctor, doctor says, oh, you, this, you got a small boil here, here, you know, or somewhere, somewhere in the body. Oh, you, this is cancer. You know, <laughs> this is a very serious cancer. It's already gone to all the, all over the body. So you have only two months to live. So what happens? You're gone, right? You feel gone, right? You're not gone still, but you feel gone, right? So this is what happens when you have a negative team. And another, another patient, very serious patient, comes on a wheelchair to the doctor. He says, doctor, I have got this pain, that pain, you know, I feel that I am having something very, very serious. And doctor after examination says, oh, you are not having anything, it is just little fever. This is just little 99 fever, just one degree of fever. You do not have anything. You know, some people have the habit, you know, little, they will get little fever, they will say, oh, most, most probably I am having something, you know. I am having some little headache. Oh no, I heard that somebody, you know, somebody yesterday met me and he said, I am having headache. And then, he, then that fellow had found cancer in the brain, right? So I probably also you know, must be having, yeah, day before, three days back I had little headache and today I am again having a headache. So must be there little, there must be cancer, you know. <laughs> right? And they feel so down and they feel, you know, like, so they will come to the doctor with, like this, in a wheelchair, doctor, you know, I am very serious. Doctor says, what is the problem? I have got little headache. And I am having headache for last, you know, I had three days back, today again I had a headache. I think there's something very, very serious, doctor. Doctor will tell, you, tell him, you know, no, like after examination, you don't have anything. It's very simple. It's just very simple, little muscle, muscle tension. And he gives a tablet and fine. That fellow leaves the wheelchair and goes walking, right? What is this? This is nothing but team, positive team, right? So this depends. This is the balancing, right? So we should know that whenever we have negative team, the energy flow from the soul to the body gets blocked and we feel energyless. And whenever we have positive team, we, there is a flow of energy to the various parts of the body and we, we are full of energy. Right? And we cannot escape the effect of negative or positive. If we have negative team, we cannot escape the effect of negative thoughts on the body. If we have positive thoughts, we cannot escape the effect of positive thoughts on our body. Now it is for us to choose negative or positive. Anybody li will like to have negative? Raise your hand if anybody will like to have negative thoughts, negative emotions, negative attitudes, negative memories. You cannot escape the effect of it, right? And if you have positive thought, anybody likes to have positive team? Raise your hands. Good. So, you want to have both, you want to have double positive, right? You know team, cricket team, football team, volleyball team. If you have negative team, your match is already fixed, right? You are bound to lose. Negative means people who do not know how to play and has entered the football team through backdoor entry, you know, because he is related to somebody high up, right? And he just knows little bit, little bit dislike, you know? does not know how to really kick properly, right? So you are bound to lose the match, right? And if a team which is excellent, positive, you are bound to win the match, right? Next slide. 
So various, all the systems of the body are connected with the, this team and you get different problems, central nervous system, five sense organs and immune system, respiratory system, heart, your intestine, your endocrine hormones and the muscles and the excretory system, they all are connected with the, this, all with the connected with the mind and they, all the energies of the soul are supplied by, through the mind, to the body. Next slide. Then second thing is balancing pressure and inner strength. This is, this is balancing between night, mind and body, right? So how to balance between pressure and inner strength? What is actually stress? Stress is nothing but pressures divided by inner strength. Whenever the pressure exceeds the inner strength, you feel stressed. So I, one, of, one of the reasons we asked about loss of balance is stress, isn't it? So, what is stress? Whenever the ratio of stress to pressure to inner strength becomes more than one, we feel stressed. Now, pressures can be inner internal pressures and external pressures. Internal pressures are my, are my own habits. You know, I have a habit of little hurry sickness, I have a habit of little getting more anxiety, little more anger, hostile, you know. And why I have learned these habits? It's not my fault, right? You know, from the age of one year to eleven years, it is called as oral phase of life. Whatever we see from our parents, my mother, my father, my you know, brothers, sisters, my teachers, my friends, I just they just go in. It's a passive phase. Like my mother say, by nature is very fear. You know, she's a very fearing, fearing lady. You know. My father is a little arrogant type of person, you know? and type A person. Type A means you know he's always in hurry. He feel he feels pressurized by things, you know, by work, by pressure, by by time, right? And he's a little, little egoistic type of person, right? So little you know, my mother is a little jealous in nature, you know, hatred for others, talk ill of others. But my teachers are like that. What will happen? I'll imbibe the same nature. Right? They will go in passively. And then what happens after that 11 years of age, my personality will become like that, right? And then as per circumstances, it increases or decreases. Say if I am, if nothing, there is no pressure, I am very easy, then these things will not reflect in my nature. But whenever there is a pressure, they become more, right? So this is the way this thing happens. So these, sometimes these habits may not be modifiable. You can modify them. Science says that these things are not modifiable, right? But with, with Raj Yoga, you can modify them, right? These are nothing but sanskaras, right? Personality traits or our habits. They can be changed with Raj Yoga. But, but science does not believe in this. They say that you can suppress it, but they will again come up after some time under pressure, when you are under pressure, right? So this is internal pressures may not be modifiable, external pressure. External pressures are, you know, your children, your house, your job, what, you know, atmosphere around you, cold and hot, like in Shantivan, you are exposed to hot weather, right? It's a pressure, isn't it? It's a pressure. Can you modify it? Can you modify this pressure? Pressure of heat outside. Inside you can modify, but outside you can't modify, right? So this external pressure, right, may not be modifiable, but the internal strength can be modified. So if you can increase your inner strength, then no, no pressure, no, no pressure will become a stress for you, isn't it? So this is you have to balance, right? So always keep your inner strength more than the pressures. That's why the yogis especially the Indian yogis, you know, those hot yogis, they will go to Himalayas and sit on ice, you know, and will meditate. They will not wear the clothes, right? No, they will not, they will just have one, one cloth and that's it. So they increase their inner strength, right? So the pressure of cold will not affect them. Pressure of hunger will not affect them, isn't it? So that is how you can increase your inner strength, right? 
and how to increase the inner strength this method is very simple you should know what is inner right and where to connect to to have more strength right what is the source of strength right inner what is inner and what is the source of strength connect it and you will get inner strength and you can increase this to infinite so any number of pressures will not be able to cause stress in your life right so this that is how you can balance pressure and inner strength next right raj yoga meditation is a way to increase your pressure and inner strength right the uh, inner strength right and see the stress response and yoga response this is again one should know how to balance right stress if you have stress your heart rate is going to increase if you are doing yoga it will decrease so antidote to stress is yoga these are well proven facts blood pressure increases with stress and it decreases with yoga respiratory rate increases with stress and decreases with yoga your metabolic rate increases with stress and decreases with yoga your bad cholesterol bad cholesterol increases with stress and decreases with yoga good cholesterol decreases with stress and increases by yoga your arteries blood vessels they become narrow in stress and they become dilated they become open in yoga your skin resistance decreases in stress and becomes increases by yoga like a person who is who is stressful he feels lot of you know little change in temperature he will feel i am feeling very cold i am feeling very hot you know he reacts immediately to that and a person who is a yogi he says that doesn't matter i don't bother i am a soul so doesn't matter whatever heat or cold he is not affected by heat and cold right are you getting a, are you getting the effect of heat you are, you are we are souls so we should not have any effect of so heat right isn't it so we are, we are body conscious then will have the effect of heat right okay you can have your inner, inner air condition system on when you walk in the road there's a inner ac is there right keep make it on right you will feel cool inside right very cool inside and this heat outside heat will disappear right sun will become cooler right so this is how it is your intestinal tract you start having diarrhea by stress right right and then yoga it diarrhea will stop right and your peaceful waves they decrease with stress your peaceful waves are coming out from the brain alpha waves and with stress with yoga they increase right you have a peaceful vibrations around you all around you next slide so with stress response is sympathetic response you have a fight or flight response you want to fight or you want to flight right yoga is parasympathetic res- response and relaxation response you want to jump right next so the the this body consciousness leads to all these stresses iness and minus ego attachment type a behavior anxiety greed lust fear anger depression and this is consciousness on the other hand soul consciousness leads to all the seven innate qualities seven energies you are feel full of seven in seven, seven energies and you feel health conscious next slide next next so this is what it is see if you, a human being if you want to balance your health then you should not take your body as one dimensional actually we have got, we have got five dimensions of a human life how many dimensions five dimensions or if you talk in other ta- other words there is one high stream there is one middle stream there is one lower stream high stream is soul middle stream is mind and lower stream is physical body today science today medical science treats only the lower stream cleans only the, only the lower, lower stream all these streams are interconnected you clean the lower stream dirt comes from the middle stream and the high stream again you become disease you have headache you take a tablet 
headache will disappear for 4 hours. Again you think wrong, negative, you think bad of others, again you will have a headache. Again you take tablet, again you will become headache will disappear for 4 hours, again you think bad, again it will come. So, dirt comes from the middle, middle stream and high, high stream, right. So, if you have to, you have to clean the, you have, should clean all the 3 streams together, high stream, mid stream and lower stream. And there is one highest stream, what is the highest stream? Highest stream is supreme soul, right. We can get, get connected to the highest stream through soul conscious lifestyle. If we have, we have body consciousness, we get disconnected by the, to the highest stream and if we are soul conscious only then we, Dadiji has come. So, if, if we should, should have a balance of all the three energies, soul, mind and body, spiritual energy, mental energy and physical energy. And we, when we have harmony in all the three energies, only then we can enjoy ever healthy, ever wealthy and ever happy life, right. This is what Rajoga means. Rajoga is the science and art of harmonizing spiritual, mental and physical energy through connection with the ultimate source of spiritual energy for enjoying ever healthy, ever wealthy and ever happy time. Right. So, you, you have spiritual energy by from the supreme soul, mental energy through Murli right, and physical energy through proper diet, proper exercise, proper sleep and proper use of medicines. Right. Only then we can enjoy a balanced life, a balanced healthy life, right? Om Shanti.